Hey, 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 it's Grips, and as always, yeah, thanks for joining me. All right, so freeze frame. We're going to be covering freeze frame. Now, you're probably thinking, but well, I have snapshots, so uh, what's the difference? So as you can see here, take a snapshot, but you can also now see in version 8, freeze frame. So let me show you the difference. So I got a uh, footage in my timeline. Now, the difference between the snapshot is if I wanted to take a snapshot, I'm going to be taking a snapshot of this frame here so let's just do that let's take a snapshot all right so the the still picture now has been placed in my library as you can see it's right here so what the difference is with the freeze frame is i'll show you we'll do the exact same thing let me highlight the clip do the exact same thing freeze frame okay so what it's going to do it's going to ask me the duration of my clip so let's say i'm working on a project and i want to show the customer or something for Five seconds, so we can adjust that here by five seconds. We can also do uh, per frames, but let's just leave it at five seconds. Now, if I press apply, look what happens. It automatically inserts it into my timeline and the clip is exactly five seconds. So what it'll do, it'll play the clip, freeze at that point for five seconds, and then continue playing the clip. So the difference is it automatically inserts it into the timeline. So it it, it takes out the steps where you would normally have to then, oh, I'm going to make it an edit here, move this out of the way, bring this into the timeline. So you, you're just eliminating a couple of steps. So both work the exact same way because let's just bring that right back into the uh, project line or the main track. After I have placed it and if my five seconds is too long or too short, I can easily then click and drag it to make it shorter or longer which is identical let's say let's take that out bring in the jpeg from the snapshot as you can see it is identical so realistically what it's doing for you it's just inserting it for you in the timeline and i just said for you twice in one sentence i'm retarded and that's it my folks it's very simple what the freeze frame is and as always oh, oh, what oh Oh, I get it. You want me to show you how I did the intro. All right, let's Okay, I thought that might be the case. All right, for those who want to know that, stick around. For those who want to just know how to freeze frame, thanks for watching. All right, let's, let's uh, see if we can replicate the little effect I did in the beginning. All right, so again, uh, I'm just going to play along the footage. And basically here is where I did my freeze frame. So I edited it. I did the freeze frame and I did it for about 10 seconds or whatever it is the the other clip went for. So that's 10 seconds. And let's uh, fit that into the project size. So here it goes, 10 seconds and then bam, it continues. And then it goes off screen for a while. It keeps going, blah, blah, blah. All right, that's probably about the length that I want. And I'm going to make a cut there. And then I'm going to look for the part where I'm still pretending to be in the footage about here as I got to walk out so I'm gonna make another edit and delete that all right so this is the new footage that I'm gonna be working with so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna place that underneath where I did the the freeze frame so let's do that again so bring it underneath the freeze frame so as you can see it is now longer than the the freeze frame so I can easily click and drag to adjust that there you go so we're all good to go. So all I need to do now, basically, you guessed it, is create a mask. So first off, to create the mask, I need to then also um, bring back the top layer. So let's do that. So if you've been following me for a while, you know I love the Boris Graffiti. So I'm just checking to see. Yep. So I'm in line with the ball, which is fine. This is a good way to watch it. And now I'm going to bring in my Boris filter. I'm going to go to my custom settings and there you go. So I don't need the spline, uh, I don't need the text track. All I really want is, all right, so you can see, I'm just judging where my hand reaches out the further. So about here. So all I need to do now is mask out this part of my clip. So spline media, I'm just going to scroll out slightly, click here, click here, here and here. Okay. Now again, if you uh, if you don't know how to get the green up, you just go spline media, and you'll see here fill color. 
okay and then if you click on this tab here fill color you can also see green because we are going to mask and chroma key this part out I press apply mask and chroma key and then just select oh, sorry about that select this green and now you can see it comes back so now both pictures or the the jpeg and i am back in the frame now here's in something interesting where is the ball all right this is the thing where is the ball very good question what we're going to do we're going to make a copy of this so right click copy and then we're going to place that on another overlay track and now what we're going to do is just mask out this ball and again boris graffiti double click customs filter advanced mode okay so we need to create another spline track so let's do that okay and we're just going to use the oval tool and i'm just going to create an oval like that and i'm going to uncheck the fill tab for now because i want to make sure that i get my oval uh, looking pretty close to the ball now you will if you want to move this oval around use this error here this is the hollow error and this allows you to click and drag spline media tracks so now it's just a matter of sizing it up now the good thing is it doesn't need to be perfect because even if you're outside the the circle it doesn't matter because this is also on the original footage so like i said it doesn't need to be perfect but i always try and get it as close as i can and now i'm going to check the fill tab back in all right and then what we're going to do here is this is the tricky part see how we got the background what we're going to do is we're going to click and drag it up slightly until it turns into a black line and we're going to let it go we're going to open expand it or open expand just expand it and we're going to drop the spline media track onto the mask of the video layer like so so there we go now we've got just the ball and we press apply so hopefully this should all work so again mask chroma key that out we just did a nice black there you go and then bring that tolerance right up sorry we can bring it right down i'm retarded so there you go so that is all what needs to be done so the ball gets thrown it gets frozen and then i can walk behind the ball or the object walk away and then it'll just keep going from where i left off so there you go my friends this is how simple it is using the mask and the freeze frame effect and as you can see it did a pretty good job and then all it is just you know color correcting color grading add some music to it and uh yep you're good to go so there you go my friends and as always thanks for watching